Still like it. Still like it. Still like it. Hey guys, so it's here, as promised, my Korea haul. Now, as you can see from the background, the setup is a little bit different, but I thought this would be the best way to showcase what I bought. As I mentioned, I didn't do that much designer shopping, though I did pick up a few things, and I'll show that a bit later, but I bought a lot of clothes, more from their local boutiques and stuff, because I loved Korean fashion, can I say? Okay, well, I love the food, I love the language i love everything i just enjoyed the trip immensely and thank you so much you guys for leaving me such nice comments about my travel vlogs like you guys said that oh it felt like we were there with you and it looked like you had a great time and i'm just so glad that translated through because that's exactly what i wanted so yay that made me really happy so let's get straight into it and i'm just going to show you what I bought. I'm not going to try it on because one, um, a lot of these clothes you actually can't buy. They're more from the one-off boutiques and they don't have online stores. I really wish they did because I would buy stuff online. And two, we would be here forever and a day. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so for the first piece, this is a two-piece set. Two-piece sets were really popular in Korea and I don't think you can go wrong with a you know, striped top. This is sort of a bit peplum in style and it just came with a grey jumper. But what I liked about the grey jumper was that it's got an open back. So really you can chuck on any shirt and then put that jumper on top. So I thought that was really cute. Oh, I forgot my Kenzo bag. So from my last vlog, you guys saw that I went to Kenzo. And if you haven't watched it, I'll link it up here somewhere. I think you guys know me too well because you guessed what I picked. So I'm just going to show you. It's not going to be any surprise, but I bought the grey tiger jumper. The one with the reptilian face. So yeah, I just really liked it. It's my first Kenzo jumper and I just think it looked really cute with denim, with skirt. It's just really cool. Plus it was 30% off, which is always a bonus. So that's what I picked up from Kenzo. Moving on. I bought a shirt. These first few items were all from Myeongdong, which is like a shopper's haven. They've just got the best little boutiques there. This is very different for me. A lot of you are going to think, hmm, now what are you thinking? And I think you'll find with all these clothes, there's actually not really a pattern. My style is really mixed. Sometimes I like classic pieces. Sometimes I like to try different pieces, but you'll see. Anyway, what attracted me to this shirt was I liked the arm detail, that it was kind of like puffy. I don't know if puffy is the right word, but it's sort of like billowy and it's got the longer cuff. And I just thought it was a bit different. It's a looser fit. It looked just really nice with denim. So that's why I bought that. What I've got on is actually also from Myeongdong. And I just really liked this sort of color. I really love lace. That's no secret. I've mentioned that so many times. And I thought this was a bit Zimmerman-esque. Plus it was a really good price. Like a lot of the things that I bought were like... $70 and under, $50 and under Australian dollars. So that's why, obviously, as you can see, I went a little bit cray cray. So I bought this as well. And you can't really tell the jeans, but it's just got a frayed sort of um, hemline and it's just really plain. Plus, it's really cheap over there. So another item is this beautiful black see through blouse. Excuse it, I haven't steamed it yet or anything, I haven't worn it. But I absolutely, look at that arm detail with all the pearls. I'm a sucker for pearls. I'm a sucker for lace. And so I just think this is, yeah, it's just such a really pretty top. Just chuck a black cami underneath and it'll look really good, I think. So that one. And from the same store, I also bought this. So these pieces were a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say poshy, but a little bit more formal. So it's got a pearl detail here and a gold detail here. I'm not sure what this is called. It's like a, what's that called? If you guys know, let me know, because I don't even know what that's called. But I liked it, and I liked this sort of high neck. I don't normally go for high necks, but this just looked, when I tried it on, it just looked really elegant. So I think that if I pair that with a black skirt, uh, I could wear that to work or even to an event. And that's exactly what I did, actually. I paired it with, actually, I got this from the same uh, place. And it is just a black skirt, but the bottom's got this sort of like tiered 
uh, sort of hem and it just looked really, really nice. So I don't think you can go wrong with black skirts, right? So those two were from the same boutique. Not those two, those three that I just showed you were from the same boutique. Now, a lot of you asked me where this skirt was and that was the one that I was wearing in my last vlog and I absolutely love it. They don't have an online store. Again, it was just from a little random boutique. It was on sale on one of the sale racks and I think I picked it up for $59. Absolutely love this skirt. Gold, guys, seriously, metallics can be a neutral and then go with a lot. You saw from my last vlog, I tried so many things with this from jumpers to blazers and it just all went. Love this because it had that little see-through detail. So love me a pleated skirt. Okay, what else? So this is not nothing that interesting. It was just felt nice. It was just a nice white jumper. Nothing that fancy, but 10 bucks, can't go wrong. This t-shirt is a little bit weird. You guys are gonna think, oh, I'm not sure about that. But I got this and I just think it would look really cool with like a mini and some sneakers in summer or even, I don't know what I can exactly pair with it or just you know jeans as well. But I love how, I just love sleeve detail. So I'm, I think I'm a sucker for sleeve detail as well. Maybe that's the common theme. Maybe, maybe not. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a very edgy tee. So I also got this tee. Now this is a black one and why I liked this was just the, all the eyelets sort of detail. One thing that I didn't quite like about Korea, though I have to say, is they don't let you try tops on in all, a lot of the little boutiques. You can try jeans, you can try skirts, but anything tops, or dresses they don't really let you try on if they see that you're buying a couple of things they might let you try it on but um some of these things i just couldn't try on so you just have to hold it up and a lot of them are free size or what they deem free size but this is just i, I knew it would fit it'll just be a loose sort of casual top yeah and it's quite heavy actually but i just liked that eyelet detail okay so next up is another casual sort of top and I love checkered shirts just for weekend sort of wear. But what I liked this was about this one was that when you wear it, you just saw, saw a little bit of the shoulder, just a hint of the shoulder. So I thought that was quite cute and loose. And this one, obviously, I've worn. And there's the arm. So I fold the sleeves up and that's how I've worn this top. And I bought recently when I went into Dior. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, this is my Instagram name here. I would love for you to join my Instagram family as well. But anyway, I wore these jeans and I got a lot of comments. Where did you get them from? Korea. I know. I don't have a link. I wish I could link it up for you. But as I said, if I find anything similar, I will link it up. And what I loved about this was because it had that slip bottom and it was sort of slightly more flared. A lot of my jeans are like skinny jeans so I liked this because it had that flare sort of split detail. Next up was this. I haven't worn it yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to style it but I'm not sure if you guys have seen on Instagram or even with fashion um, mags that I've seen or online there's been a lot of that sort of ballerina look with like boots and stuff like that. This wasn't really a ballerina tutu, but it was sort of see-through and it's got all these different layers. So I'm thinking maybe I could even pair it with denim and just see, you just, the bottom bit, you just see the, you know, your denim jeans. But yeah, I saw something similar in Sass and Bide. Sass and Bide is an Australian designer and yeah, I thought it was sort of Sass and Bide-like, I think. And yeah, I just thought it was really cool. So I'm not sure how I'm going to style that. Maybe just with a tee or a singlet, something more simple at the top because it is quite, you know, um, a full, a full on skirt maybe. But I think, I think it'll be cool to style up. And next up is my bargain buys. You remember on my career vlogs, I went to a market and there was, I didn't film because there was these two stores and everything there was $3. So I'll just show you quickly what I bought from there. And it was mainly just cardigans. I mean, I don't think you can kind of go wrong with cardigans. I went with this one because of the color block. I thought it was a bit different. Material felt okay. Second was this yellow one, just for a bit of color. Three bucks, guys. Just a very plain um, camel sort of thin line cardigan. Oh, it's got a pull, but 
three dollars I'll, I'll just cut the thread off and this i don't know what i was thinking here maybe because everyone was grabbing everything and i'm like i'm just going to try grab as much as i can but i can make that work in summer and it's three dollars and yeah so it's just a fun piece so that was my three dollar buys from the market and also i went to Ihua or g actually i don't even know how to pronounce it but this is women's university and along there i said it in my vlog as well there's a lot of um little boutiques and gosh those clothes were like super cheap i think everything i got there was pretty much 20 dollars and under so definitely want to check out if you are going to korea so let me show you what i got from that area this is just like a very plain sort of t-shirt but it the hand feel is amazing and it kind of had this sort of detail on it which kind of looks like a faux choker but it's not a choker but it was it just felt nice and it was a really good price so I bought that and then there was this and it's just like a see-through crisp oh, I don't even know the pattern on this but it's just a see-through top I just think it'll look nice with black underneath with white underneath ten dollars so I thought that was quite nice and I bought a floral skirt from there as well which just looks like that so it just opens up like this and I think that would just be good for well we've just come out of autumn but even with winter and you've got like boots underneath that would go and you could wear it in spring I'm not too worried about that so that was ten dollars as well and then I also bought this pink loose I don't I want to call it a boyfriend blazer but it's definitely like a looser type jacket and I plan to wear this just with a white tee underneath or any sort of tee with denim really loose have the sleeves rolled up and I don't kind of own this type of style and this style is very popular in Korea that sort of oversized look nothing too fitted but yeah lots of oversized sort of jackets there so I picked that up because it was also 50% off near that women's university and then finally, oh, I hope you guys are not getting sick of all these clothes. Um, I did go to Zara on my very last day and I picked up two things from Zara because I love Zara as well. And I picked up this dress and it's so cute. I think if I find a picture of this, I will you know, put a picture on as well. But this just reminds me of the Chanel Cuba collection, which I really loved, which was a couple of collections ago now. But I think this will just be a really fun summer piece. So when the weather warms up, I can't wait to wear this. And finally, guys, I bought this black jacket. So it's cropped like this. But look at all this um, tassel detail down the bottom. I just thought it looked a lot more expensive than it looked. I think it was about 99, yeah, 99 won, which is maybe $110 over here. And I just think that's really cool. I told you guys there is quite a lot of clothes that I bought from there. There's probably like maybe a couple of pieces that I'm missing, but that's like 90% of it. So I did buy a lot of clothes, but let me show you the designer pieces I got now. So for the exciting stuff, I bought some designer items and I've never done an unboxing standing up. So excuse me, but let's see how we go. Let's start off with Chanel. So I popped into Chanel, but if you guys saw from my vlog, they like were onto me like a hog the minute I took my camera. I was like, no filming. I'm like, oh. anyway, let's just quickly unbox this. Oh, my Camille fell off. Just a little box. Um, no surprises here. What am I obsessed about? Yes, you are correct. Earrings. Were you guys thinking earrings? Because if you were, you are correct. And I bought, this is very different. I don't, I always try and pick earrings that add to my collection because I do have quite a few Chanel earrings because I am obsessed. So I always try to add something that's a little bit different. I will do a close up of this as well. Now I can't even get it open. Okay, it's this piece of paper in here. And I bought these guys. They are yellow with black. You're not going to be able to see, but I will show a close up. They are so cool. They got like yellow glitter in them. And I just think on the ear, they'll be amazing. I don't have anything with Chanel and glitter. So I thought they were cool. So that was one thing. Next up was Hermes. I actually didn't film this because 
I bought this. We had a little bit to kill at the airport and I didn't film. I think by the end of the trip, I was just like really tired. I didn't expect to buy anything. But you already know from the box what it is. I think I need somewhere to store my twillies. It's getting fitted out of hand right now. But yes, I bought another twilly. And the reason why I bought this twilly, and I will show a close up as well, is because it was, I don't have anything in this kind of colorway. It's bright, it's fun, and I thought that it could be, I only bought one because I'm thinking of just using it for my Amala kit for one handle because it could be too much if I bought two. Might not be, but I haven't tried it on her yet. But I just think the colors are just very different to what I have. So that is why I bought this Twilly. And I think for summer it could be really nice. I think I might tr start trying, oops, I think I might start trying Twillies here. I don't know if I can, you know, get away with it. But it could look nice. Not with this, but I might try. I did say I was going to try wear my scarves a bit more. So I'm going to try wear my Twillies a bit more too. So that was my Twilly. But what I'm most excited to show you guys is the next item. And I did not allude to this at all in my blog because, again, I was not allowed to film at all. But this was on my 2017 wishlist video. I couldn't find it in Australia or online, didn't see it in Japan, and I see it in Korea. So I was so, so wrapped. And it is from Gucci. Okay, let's see if I can unbox this. So I've already taken the ribbon off for ease. And it is a pair of shoes, as you can tell. Oh, if you guys haven't checked out my wishlist video, I will link it here or in the description box below. But I'm so happy to get this. Isn't it so cool when you think you've missed the boat on something and then you find it? I'm like, yes. So I got these shoes, which are called the, I don't even know. I think, well, they're from the Marmont range. Okay, hold on. They're from the Marmont range. Let me put these down. And I wanted these ones because I'm obsessed with green. You also saw me trying on earlier on, that was at the start of the trip, the Dionysus, which I'm still thinking about, by the way. But I just really like these. How awesome are they? They've got a really good heel height, so comfortable, and they're just going to be, I don't know, I just love the color. I don't own a pair of green shoes. So this was on my wish list, and I got them. So that is it guys, that is my Korea haul. I feel like I bought a lot. A lot of you also mentioned, I hope you got the Burberry coat. I am thinking about it. Maybe I might buy it over here, I'm not sure. I, I just loved it though, but I couldn't obviously buy everything. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me to know that you like my videos. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Yeah. And I'll just link a couple of the videos that I talked about um, before my 2017 wishes video and also my last career blog as well. So thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video.